Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade Bandalord, specifically the Realm of Thrones Total Conversion mod. So it's a Game of Thrones conversion mod. And today our topic is the top 10 best husbands that you can marry, so the male spouses, based on how good of a steward they are. So it'll be based primarily on their stewardship skill, but we'll also consider things like their trade skill, their charm skill, and their tactic skill. So all of that comes together to make them a good steward, and we'll be ranking them 10 being the worst, 1 being the best. We'll start at number 10. And so to find any person in the game, you're going to want to go to your notes tab, and you do that on PC by pressing the N key and then from there you can select heroes and then you just narrow it down so if you're looking for a husband obviously male is the thing that you select and of course we want them to be alive so we select that then of course we want lord or lady because those are the marriageable people and not married because you can't marry people that are already married and then all you have to do is narrow it down by the culture and so the first culture we're going to be looking at is someone from the reach and it is going to be Loris Terrell of the Terrell so he takes the number 10 spot for the best steward husbands available in the game and so stat wise he starts the game at age 25 with a charm skill of 80, trade of 101, steward of 120, tactics of 140, leadership of 140, combat of 240, that's his highest combat skill, which you can see is in both one-handed and polearm, and uh, that's why he takes the number 10 spot on this list. He is the son of Mace Terrell. You'll remember him from the TV show as the only visible brother of Marjorie Terrell and the heir of Mace Terrell. But in the books, there's actually three of them, Willis, Garland, and, Ma and Loris Terrell. Loris Terrell ends up joining the Kingsguard, actually, in the book. So it's different, but he's obviously a prominent character in both. And so you can see trait-wise, we have Honest and Cruel. So neither one of those two particularly terrible for a steward. And obviously great skills across the board. His combat is excellent, but here what we're focusing on are his steward skills. So we have stewardship, like I said, of 120, trait of 101, tactics of 140, uh, charm of 80. All of these make him a really really good steward so like i said starting off strong at number 10 we have loris terrell at number nine we've got uh victorian greyjoy one of the people from the iron island he is going to be of the greyjoy clan he is one of the brothers of balon greyjoy the leader of the iron island uh victorian starts the game at age 30 with a charm skill of 80 trade of 101 steward of 122 tactics of 140 leadership of 140 and his highest combat skill is 260 which he has in pole arms he's obviously also got nice high combat skills in basically every other area but again what we're focusing on here are his steward skills so stewardship of 122 trade of 101 tactics of 140 charm of 80 these are all great skills nice high levels for a great steward so he's obviously going to be very good at that uh negative traits here though we have close fisted and cruel uh both of those can be bad but i don't find that they make a huge gameplay difference uh so yeah like i said victorian greyjoy takes the number nine spot on this list next up at number eight we have one of the lords of the north small john Umber, so obviously the son of Great John Umber. Uh, I would have liked it better if his name was Big John, but anyway, uh, he starts the game at age 24, so pretty young. Charm of 120, Trade of 120, Steward of 141, Tactics of 140, Leadership of 140, and his highest combat skill is 210, and he has that in both one-handed and in pole arms. Oh, and two-handed. So, uh, combat-wise, he's obviously quite good and comes with good armor and weapons as well. He is nice and young, which is a great thing, because obviously that means that he can be your husband for much longer. Uh, he comes with only one trait and it's calculating which is a positive trait so that's excellent uh if you were trying to remember him from the story he is one of the umber who is obviously one of the most influential houses in the story for the north uh and his father plays a huge role in the tv show for the first couple seasons uh serving rob stark uh small john umber in the show I think in the end ends up betraying the Starks and siding with the Boltons, but in the books, I don't know that he has. But anyway, Small John Umber is obviously a prominent character from the show and the books, and he has some pretty good st uh, stats in basically every trait, but here, like I said, for stewardship, we have stewardship of 141, charm of 120, trade of 120, and tactics of 140, so all obviously quite high, making him an excellent steward, and that's why he takes the number eight spot. Alrighty, then we've got uh, for the number seven spot, a book only character, Aegon Targaryen. And so I'm not going to spoil it because it's one of my favorite differences between the show and the book. So if you haven't read the books, I definitely recommend them. But we have Aegon Targaryen at the age of 22 with a charm of 140, trade of 122, steward of 141, tactics of 160, leadership of 160, combat skill, uh, his highest one being 240, which is in 
two-handed, one-handed, and in pull arms. So nice high skills for all three of those. And like I said, he takes the number seven spot on this list. He is part of the Targaryen, Aegon clan, so it's different than Daenerys' clan. And you can see that the flag is a little different. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, in the mod here, it's part of the Targaryen Civil War. He is Valerian in culture, like I said, 22 to start off with. Only one trait, and it's daring, so excellent there. And again, like I said, stewardship of 141, charm of 140, trait of 122, tactics of 160. Great stats across the board. Also starts off with really good armor and weapons. Aegon Targaryen is an excellent choice for a husband in this game, especially if you're looking for a nice high-level steward. So, like I said, that's number seven. Let's move on to number six. And at number six, we've got Dickon Tarly, the brother of Sam Tarly. You'll remember him as the fat uh, person who joins the Night's Watch and becomes a good friend of Jon Snow. Dickon Tarly meets a inglorious end in the show, but is not dead in the books. Uh, obviously an excellent choice, and he's got some really good stats. So he starts off at age 26 uh, with a charm skill of 80, trade of 121, steward of 142, tactics of 160, leadership of 160. His high highest combat skill is 210, and that's in uh, one-handed, two-handed, and in polearm. Uh, he starts off with several good traits, generous, honest, daring, and merciful, so good traits across the board. Uh, makes a really, really good steward. Like I said, he's from the Tarly clan, so one of the biggest, most influential clans in the Reach, and just great skills across the board. 142 in stewardship, 80 in charm, 121 in trade, and 160 in tactics. Makes him a really good steward. So if you want to marry Sam Tarly's brother, Dick on Tarly, you definitely can, and he makes a great husband. So that is number six. Let's move on to number five. And so interestingly, at number five, we have Bran Stark, who starts the game at age 18, charm of 160, trade of 122, uh, steward of 142, tactics of 100, leadership of 100, and combat of 150. So he takes the number five spot on this list. Uh, just as a brief aside, we obviously know who Bran Stark is. He's one of the main characters in the show. Gets crippled at the beginning. So a couple interesting notes in this mod, one of which being, for some reason, they made him older than both Arya and Sansa Stark, who I'm pretty sure are both older than him in the story. Uh, they are not 18 yet in this, and so you can't marry them, but Bran Stark starts off the mod at 18. He's also not crippled and has really good stats. So he's got nice high combat stats across the board. Uh, like I said, his highest combat skill is 150, and that's in one-handed, two-handed, and in polearm, but he's also good at all the other stats. A mobility being very high for someone who's paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, he does start off with good traits, daring and merciful, and obviously, like I said, he's a main character from the story, so you should know who he is. Uh, second youngest of Eddard Stark's children. Not much to say. It's interesting that they diverged so far from the source material for this character, but he does make a really good husband, especially if you're looking for a high-level steward. So like I said, Bran Stark takes the number five spot. All right, then at number four, we've got uh, someone from the uh, Stormlands, Renly Baratheon, who's actually the ruler of the Stormlands and can be married. So, uh, fun guy here, starts off the game at age 29, charm of 160, trade of 122, steward of 142, tactics of 120, leadership of 120, and his highest combat skill is 180, which he has in one-handed, two-handed, and pole arms. He also starts off with pretty solid armor and weapons, so a, g a great thing there. Traits for this guy, we've got generous, honest, cautious, which is a negative trait, but you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Merciful and calculating. So pretty good traits across the board. Makes a pretty solid husband. He is the, like I said, ruler of the Stormlands and uh, the late brother or the brother of late King Robert Baratheon. So obviously you probably know who he is from the story. He's one of Robert Baratheon's two brothers uh, and he's the one who rules the Stormlands or is the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. So very iconic character there. For stewardship, we've got a level 142, charm of 160, trade of 122, and tactics of 120. So obviously a great steward, and that's why he takes the number four spot on this list. But yes, that's number four. Let's move on to number three. So at number three, we've got Jon Snow, who is of Clan Snow, which is part of the Night's Watch, but you can still marry him because the mod isn't totally lore accurate. And he makes an excellent spouse, uh, obviously, because he takes the number three spot here. He starts the game at age 24, so nice and young. Charm of 100, trade of 141, steward of 161, tactics of 160, leadership of 160, and his highest combat skill is level 270. And he has that in one-handed, two-handed, and in polearm. Uh, and of course, the rest of his combat skills are also quite good. So excellent there. Trait-wise for him, he starts off with honorable, fearless, and merciful. So good stats for a husband. Uh, like I said, for this list, mostly what we care about is his stewardship skills. And so for stewardship, we have 161, 100 for charm, 141 for trade, and 160 for tactics. So he makes an excellent governor uh, slash steward for any settlement you might have. And that's why he takes the number three spot on this list. At number two, we've got another Stark. This time it's Rob Stark, one of the five kings. And uh, 
Definitely an excellent spouse in this game. He is the ruler of the north. He is 26, or he is 25 at the beginning of the game, uh, with a charm skill of 140, trade of 142, steward of 162, tactics of 180, leadership of 180, and his highest combat skill is 240, which he has in one-handed, two-handed, and polearm. Obviously, I should hope you know who Rob Stark is. He's the oldest son of uh, Eddard Stark, uh, the ex-ruler of the north. Uh, he has several traits starting off, generous, honest, and daring, all good. Cruel being a negative one, so that's not particularly great. He does start off with some pretty solid weapons and armor. Namely, you can see ice on his back, so if you want to get your hands on ice, Rob Stark has it in this mod, so that's fun. Uh, and stewardship skills are pretty great. 162 in stewardship, 140 in charm, 142 in trade, and 180 in tactics. So, great across the board. Rob Stark is an excellent spouse for various different things, but he takes the number two spot for the best steward-type husbands in this game. Uh, but let's move on to number one. Finally, at number one, we have Doran Martell, the ruler of Doran. He does start off at age 46, so he's a bit older, but the male's age doesn't really matter if you want to have children, so that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, he starts off with a charm skill of 180, trade of 162, steward of 180, tactics of 140, leadership of 140, and his highest combat skill being 150. That is in one-handed, two-handed, and in polearm. Uh, much like Bran, it's interesting, Doran Martell in the books and the show is somewhat of a old cripple, not much keen for fighting and so it's interesting that that's not uh in effect here and he is pretty great at everything he does uh as far as traits we've got generous and calculating for good and cautious for a bad trait still none of those really uh have a negative effect on him being a steward so he does take the number one spot here with a stewardship skill of 180 which is nice and high charm of 180 uh trade of 162 and tactics of 140 so doran martell does take the number one spot and that is all 10 of the best husbands that you can get in the realm of Thrones mod based on how good of a steward they are. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful, but that's all for today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.